Hello everyone, today on Age of Dinosaurs, we'll be traveling back in time 66 million years to visit one of the most hostile environments known where dinosaurs lived, which is Madagascar. And we will see how these animals live, lived, adapted, and survived in such an environment. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is Madagascar, 66 million years ago, at the very end of the Cretaceous period. Madagascar that we know today is tropical, wet, and humid. But at this time in Earth's history, it was one of the driest and most desert-like places on the planet. It was an island with very little vegetation. It's almost hard to believe anything large like a dinosaur could thrive here. But that's what shocks everyone when fossils were discovered. But animals are forced to cluster every, around every lasting source of water, no matter how small. One of the few animals strong enough to survive in Madagascar are these sauropods called Rapidosaurus. They are part of a group of sauropods called Saltosaurus, the last group to evolve before the dinosaurs went extinct. Unfortunately for them, they are not in as large herds as normally seen. There is very little food for them to go on, and due to this they have a very thin, malnourished appearance. In fact, there are many fossils showing rickety bone deficiency and stunted growth due to the lack of proper nutrition in Madagascar. It's a wonder that even sauropods lived in Madagascar at this time. Rapidosaurus is rather mid-sized for a sauropod, about 50 feet long, weighing 4 to 5 tons, if healthy. This is a small group of three Rapidosaurus that have luckily found water. It's possible they smelt the water miles away, and this may have even been the first drink they've had in six months. Being big allows you to survive longer from food, from lack of food and water, but they're most at risk when children. In fact, there are most Rapidosaur fossils are of young adults and juveniles. Another creature that lives here is Barbarodactylus, a pterosaur. Barbarodactylus is actually from Morocco, but it and fossils of it have only been found in Morocco, but it's widely believed they would have flown across the Atlantic and may have stopped in Madagascar from time to time. Unlike the Rapidosaurus, Barbarodactylus can leave Madagascar and fly to pastures new, avoiding the harsh climate and lack of food.
Repetosaurs are in small herds like this. Eventually storm clouds gather, but instead of rain being formed, they bring something even worse. Normally storm clouds are a sign of water, rain, and a blessing, but these storm clouds bring nothing but trouble, sandstorms. Sand picked up from high winds. The sandstorm sweeps in. Clouding the vision of the sauropods. As they rough out the storm, two of, of the repetosaurs stick together, while one is going in the wrong direction and is left behind. And instead of following them, it brings unwanted attention from other less desirable characters. When the sandstorm clears, it brings nothing but carnage. Dinosaurs that could not survive it are mummified in the sand, and they will be nothing but dust. The lone repetosaur is now left behind and alone, and tired and thirsty. Normally they stick together, but this one was disoriented by the sandstorm, and is, only has one thing on his mind, to get rehydrated and eat and to bring up its strength. However, another creature has arrived by the watering hole. This is the top predator of Madagascar, Majungasaurus, an abilosaurid. They are known for their hilariously tiny arms that have no use. The arms are even smaller than those of Tyrannosaurus. But that doesn't matter, because all their power and strength is all in the mouth, and their bite force. But being alone for, for the Repetosaurus only makes things worse. It makes him a target. The Repetosaur knows this, and tries to keep its distance away from the herd. But a Majungasaur's king, keen nose senses fresh meat. Instead of directly attacking, these Majungasaurs assess their potential meal. This is a heavily dehydrated Repetosaur that is delirious from heat stroke and seems to be on the thin side, meaning it hasn't eaten properly, adequately enough which is all the marks in a, in a Majungasaur's cookbook. The Repetosaurus, on the other hand, has its own priority for food, to regain its strength and hopefully find another herd in time. But the Majungasaurus have prepared before they 
It has. A Majunkasaurus male startles the Repetosaurus, but not to chase it down, but to wear it down. The Majunkasaurus is doing what is called a mock charge. He's not chasing him to attack him, the Repetosaurus, but to tire it out so when it is ready to attack, the Repetosaurus will be too exhausted to fight back. Normally a Majungasaurus would just scavenge. But fresh meat is always preferred. The Majungasaurus simply trails and stalks his chosen target, wearing the Repetosaurus down. Exhausted, tired, and thirsty, the Repetosaurus has no fight left. All it can do is try to outrun its pursuer. An Abilosaurid is successful this time. He will not eat for several weeks. In the next episode, we will see the fate of the other two Repetosaurus and some other strange dinosaurs. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like my videos and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. Have an amazing day.